And Lou, what did you get? Wait, point zero six 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 seven. Yeah. So point zero seven. All right. Now, what would happen if I added all of these up right now? What percent should I get if I added all of them up? A hundred percent. Or I wrote this, them as decimals, so they should add up to one. All right. Let's try it right now. Add a, add them up. I'm going to use my sigma su summation. Will it ever stop being funny? You're not sure? Only time will tell. I got exactly one. Did you guys get exactly one too? Now, is it possible that this will be a little off? Is it possible that you might get like 1.01? .01? Maybe, and that would just be like rounding errors, and not even rounding errors, just like sometimes when you round, it doesn't quite work. So, what you doing right now, Julie? Did you add these together? Yeah. Try it again. 0.4, 0.33, 0.33. Oh. Zero seven again. Oh. Yeah, no wonder there. See, this is why we add them up. So everybody put another check mark right here. This is our second check when you're doing your homework to see if you're doing it right. They have to add up to one or maybe 0.99 or maybe 1.01. .01. But would it ever be 1.1? Why? That doesn't seem that far away from one. Right, but I just said 1.01 .01 was probably okay because of rounding and stuff. So why wouldn't 1.1 be okay? That's 10% off instead of like maybe 1% off. 1% off, I would expect, okay, that's probably going to happen with rounding. So you should either get 0.99, 1.01, .01, but if you're 1.1, .1, that means you're 10% off. That's probably a pretty significant problem that you had made. All right, last one. It's called cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency, which I'll write on the next page. Cumulative frequency is a running total of the classes. A running total means that, I'm talking to Louvre now, do you know what a running total is? All of them together, yeah, just slowly adding them together. So. I'm going to show you guys when you're done writing. I don't want to rush you. All right. You guys ready? Okay. How many are in this first category, this first class? How many tallies? What's the frequency? Six. Six. And then the next one is not just five. It's five plus the previous six, which is how many so far? 11. Do you see what I mean by a running total? What's the next one going to be? 12, because I'm taking 11 plus the new one. Makes 12. 12 plus 2 is 14, and then 14 plus 1 is 15. This basically shows you how it's growing. This is the last check mark because this is also matches how many data points you have. This is all of the information you will need for almost any graph we make in here. Um, but you won't always need all of it. You'll always need these first three. 
but then some graphs will be like, okay, I need a cumulative frequency for this graph. So then there'd be no reason for you to do those two. Do you see how like, I could have done a cumulative frequency without knowing the midpoints or the relative frequency. Like I could take this one out and this out and I'd still get this one just fine. Or I could take out the midpoints and I could definitely figure out the relative frequency just fine. So it just depends on what you need in your graph. But for your homework, you're gonna be doing the whole chart. Okay, all right, you can go ahead and finish up your homework then.